Hey everyone, Dulce here and you're watching Candy's Garden with a little reminder that if you have yet to enter my giveaway for all this stuff right here, last day to enter is tomorrow. The link to the video on how to enter will be in the description box below. Alright, so besides the giveaway reminder, just thought I'd give a little garden update since I haven't and um, let you check out what's going in my garden, whether it be in my garden beds or in pots. Let's take a look. Got some fig tree cuttings doing good. Mamma Sapote. The leaf is taking. It's time to grow back, but she's doing okay. Got other fig tree cuttings doing really good right there. Got some orange trees growing. This is my wild plum trees. All right, huh? Got some dragon fruit started because mine didn't make it. Pink lemon, doing okay. Lufa. Some Thai guava. Uh, Roselle, coming in really good. Dragon's breath, looking good. Got a moringa tree, doing okay. Um, this one is the Pekin, grown from the seeds off of um, a Pekin pepper from Sonora, Mexico. So that's a true Pekin right there. Some kumquats growing back there. A grapefruit little seedling right here. Right here is a wax mallow, something rather. Another pepper plant. Right here, I'm not sure if it's because it was the seeds that were kind of old, but I tried to grow some flowers and nothing. Some pataya growing. Some golden berry. We got some passion fruit vines growing back there. Some up there. That's some blackberry right there. Passion fruit. Some more fig cuttings, and that's not so good right there, but that's fig cuttings, and this one's dead. Got a pepino melon, a vine that made it through the winter. This is the golden berry that I think was, I thought was dead, but there's green, so I won't give up on her just yet. I am unsure of this girl right here. She's looking lovely though. But all these right here, they are my mulberry. So I made a boo-boo on these guys right here, okay? I placed them out a little too early. So as you can see, I think some of these are definitely gone, okay? But some of these, they're doing a-okay. And they are my palmello. Kind of like a grapefruit, but Tastes better and sweeter in my opinion. Got a whole bunch of my cherry moya trees that made it through the winter. Thank you, Jesus. Right here in the front, I got some mesquite trees growing. Right here, um, I totally forgot what this is. Something ginger, but I had gotten it last year, had pretty flower. These back there trying to do the uh, winter method, milk jug method, and I don't think anything's coming out of those. Here's a uh, grape vine that I got on clearance um, this past winter, uh, before the new year, y'all. And she's doing really, really good. She was just like stick the last time that I got her. And she's doing really good. So in this bed, I did have my pepper plants, my hot pepper plants last year. I took those out 
after they passed away but back here I have watermelon growing and then up in front where's the little seedling this one right here and there's one right there is my Korean melon and here I have some garlic started and then over here I got some fun stuff right there so back there in the back row are all my royal burgundy bean plants i have one um armenian cucumber that came up one is better than none and all this good green stuff right there is my dragon tail radish in the front i do have some um cilantro growing in this little bitty box, I have sugarcane planted below, but I also planted some sunflowers within this and sprinkled some flower seeds. I'm not even too sure what kind of flowers they are, but only time will tell. This year, I wanted to grow some more flowers, so I placed bulbs in here. And I'm not totally sure what kind of bulbs they are, but I will include a picture of the ones that I got last year. Here is a bed that is ready to go, and I will probably place tomato plants in here. I just have them covered because the cats like to dig and use this as their restroom. And I have some onions growing right there as well. Here's my rosemary bush, and she's doing really good. I also have mint in here. I've got this big old crate, which is very lovely. And whenever I do put in the soil and whatnot, this will be my herbs, like cilantro and basil. Here is the oregano that I got for free doing really good this is the bed that's closest to my kitchen window and I've decided to use it mainly for my mint but also for cilantro and flowers I also have some garlic growing as well I've decided to just have this for my onions as well as flowers the jackfruit that I was growing for the longest time since 2019 did not quite make it this past winter I am pretty bummed about that but my rocket apple tree is doing really good my magnolia tree that I started from seed back in 2022 is doing real good and the avocado tree that i got last year is doing really good so here is the guava tree that i purchased last year doing really good i was able to harvest two guavas from her which i was able to then grow my own guava trees from seed using the guavas that are harvested from her. She has been attacked by, by aphids, but I am using a homemade pesticide to um, hopefully cure her of that. But other than that, she's doing really good. Here is the moringa tree that I grew from seed several years back doing really good as tall as the roof of my garage has blooms and I am still wanting to go ahead and cut off that one right there and use it as a second tree I will just cut this but I am very good at procrastinating so maybe one of these days I will get to it and here is the avocado tree that I grew from seed a few years back. Doing really good. Getting taller. Of course, I still want to keep her fairly short, 
but she does have new growth down there as well as right here so she's doing really good where she's at full sun all right so last but not least here's the queen pekin i was thinking i was going to have to just retire her because uh last year was a little harsh on her after i trimmed her the year before um she just had a really hard time trying to get back where she was i think last year was hot and all that stuff and then she had to deal with winter so this is where she's at i will update you on her at a later date whenever i share a new updated how to grow chili pekin which i hope y'all will enjoy well i sure hope you all enjoyed this little garden update if you have not yet entered the giveaway what are you waiting for and remember love god because he loves you and y'all have a nice day now yeah here bye